heart disease is felt to be a chronic set of conditions that will be with you for life. And in many instances, that's the case. In my subspecialty, cardiac electrophysiology, we have the opportunity to cure people of many of the problems that they come to see us for. Well, I recall a grand uncle that directed me towards medicine and healthcare from a young age, and that stuck with me. I went into engineering uh, as a math and science guy, and I always wanted to bring the two together. Cardiac electrophysiology really is electrical engineering for the heart. And so as an electrical engineer, cardiac electrophysiology was just uh, the natural area that I had an affinity for. Patients have expectations. If we don't choose to understand what their expectations are, then we are setting ourselves up for disappointment because we will not have uh, achieved a, a goal that was meaningful for the patient. So as patient expectations change, patient-driven care is the evolution of healthcare from 50 years ago to now, there are also expectations on our part that we want patients to engage. We want them to come and listen and read and do research and ask questions. And healthcare is very much a service-oriented industry. So is uh, hotel management, so are restaurants, so is travel, so is tourism. So the service that we need to provide is based on what the patients want. We don't know what the service is. We think we assume, for instance, that the service is that I will take care of your heart. The service is not just I will take care of your heart, but how do you want me to take care of your heart? Not everybody wants to live longer, but everybody wants to know that for the period of time that they've got left, that it's gonna be an enjoyable time, their quality of life is gonna be uh, the best that it can be, and that I personally am going to do everything in my power to ensure that from the perspective of the medical condition that they're coming to see me, I'm going to address not only the medical needs, but their personal quality of life uh, or other uh, aspects of their life that are important to them to the degree that I can. There is a greater and greater of need to provide very high level services in the community. And so Freighter South is, is rapidly and aggressively expanding their cardiovascular service line and the capabilities of the service line. And we've been really lucky to have in a community hospital access to the latest and the greatest cutting edge technologies to allow us to deliver every aspect certainly of cardiac electrophysiology care that can be offered anywhere else. In fact, we do things here that other centers often are not doing. And then over time, the evolution from anxiety when they first came to see me, to suffering through the symptoms, to the anxiety of the procedure often, or the treatment in general, to how, oh, it wasn't that bad and everything went fine. and and I'm getting better and I'm getting better. And finally, the best part is saying goodbye. That's my, perhaps the, the best part of the experience of all of the visits and caring, caring for patients is saying, you don't need me anymore, you're good. My name is Dr. Indrajit Chowdhury. I'm the medical director of cardiac electrophysiology at Freighter South.